Um, so one of the stories that I tell my students shockingly is about Maya. Um, and it was, she had hurt her hip or something like that. And so we had to take her in, this was a few years back, and we had to take her into the doctor and get hip x-rays and all this stuff. So when they do it, they have to like put them under so they won't move during the x-rays. And so when we picked her up, she was a little woozy. She wasn't, you know, she didn't really understand what was happening, et cetera. So we got home and it was at night, like it was time to go to bed. And so I took her out and I tried to get her to pee. She wouldn't pee. So I just thought, oh, forget it. I'll just bring her inside. No big deal. So, and she always pees at night and she had just been to the vet. Like I knew she needed to pee, but I just was like, no, it's okay. She'll be fine. So I brought her inside and she could not settle. She would not settle. So um, you were actually already asleep. So you were in bed sleeping peacefully. Sounds like I was a smart guy. Right. Yeah. So you get the early mornings. I always get the nights. So I brought her in. And when she was a puppy, she used to love to lay on my chest. And so she would lay like on my chest. That's how she would, she would sleep a lot as a puppy. So I brought her up. I was in bed. I was laying next to you and I laid her on my chest. And those of you who have never met Maya, she basically fits from my chin down to about my hips. She's small. So she's small. small. She's like 15 pounds. So she just laid right on my chest. And so we were laying in bed and I was just watching TV, trying to get her to settle. And she finally, I mean, she just went to sleep. She knocked out, fell asleep. And I'm laying there and I'm in our bed, by the way. And um, all of a sudden I feel something warm near my lower region and near her lower region. And I'm thinking, why is it feeling like warm all of a sudden? And I realize that Maya is completely peeing on me. So she decided to go ahead and relieve herself. And I look at her face, by the way, and she's out. She is still dead asleep. Like, she has no idea this is happening, and she is peeing on me. And I'm an adult. It couldn't happen to a better person, by the way. Right. And I'm an adult, so I don't have, like, you know, protective plastic on my mattress or anything. So I'm thinking if, that, like, I'm going to have to throw out this mattress if I, like, get this pee all over. So I am laying in bed, and Hans is next to me, and he's asleep. So I kind of nudge him to wake him up. And he's, of course, you know, when you first wake up, he's completely disoriented, has no idea what's happening. And I say, Maya peed on me. And there's a long pause. And he goes, what? What's happening? And so then he kind of jumps out of bed and like moves over. And he's like standing uh, like above me now at this point. And I'm like, Maya peed on me. And he's just like in okay, a Okay, but in fairness, this is not like a sentence that you hear regularly. <laughs> right. Like, what are you talking about? Someone peed on you. Right. Yes. We'll give you credit that you didn't know what was happening. And so I say, Maya peed on me. I need help. So you're just like, what do I do? So I was like, grab Maya. And I'm like, but be careful when you get her because she's going to have like pee all over her, I'm thinking, right? And so he kind of like carefully picks her up and he's feeling around and he's like, she's not wet at all. Like she has no water on it. She has no pee on her. So come to find out she had moved her leg to pee on me while she's asleep. So she just peed directly on me and got none on her, which is great. So I basically had to shimmy out of bed um, holding kind of my legs together because she had peed all over the front of me. So I kind of like slid out of bed and then had to gather all of my clothes together with all this pee on it without getting pee everywhere. Um, And the lesson I learned from this whole situation um, was that I'm never going to give up if I know that she needs to pee. So when you're in a situation, I got impatient and I just went, oh, I'm just coming inside. It's no big deal. So I'm not going to get impatient anymore. I can stand out there for 20 minutes until she pees. I will make sure that she goes to the restroom before we come inside. So this and, is, and as being the person that has to wake up in the middle of the night or early morning, if she doesn't, I really appreciate you standing out there. It's, <laughs> Thank it's you. very nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 